Good evening, hello and welcome. You're with the news today, your prime time destination news. Newsmakers talking points, the big talking point this Tuesday night. It's been called the last battle of 2024, a do or die fight. Tonight, the election special as elections to Maharashtra, Jharkhand are declared. Among others, Aditya Thakre and Shrikant Shinde, two sons of incumbent and former chief ministers of Maharashtra will join us. Also, former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Prithvi Raj Savan, and the Shiv Sena Rajya Sabha MP, Milin Deura, will be among my special guests. So we've got lots of Maharashtra focus today. But tonight's top story, the stage is set for the last mega poll battle of 2024. That's right. On, on November 23rd, we will know what happens in the battleground states, the big battleground states of Maharashtra and then Jharkhand, the two big last battles of this big election year. This will be a single phase election in Maharashtra on 20th November with counting on the 23rd. Jharkhand will vote in two phases on November 13th and 20th. And the big verdict day, as I said, is 23rd for both these states as it is also for by-elections, including Uttar Pradesh. Bipoles voting on 13 November, that includes the Wayanad Lok Sabha seat. 47 assembly seats spread across 13 states will also go to the polls. They include the Nanded Lok Sabha seat, one assembly seat in Uttarakhand, counting for all those seats on a Saturday, 23rd of November. But no state will matter as much as Maharashtra will. It's the second largest state in the country when it comes to Lok Sabha elections, 288 MLAs, and it's an election which will decide who controls the country's commercial capital of Mumbai. It will decide who is the Asli or Nakli Shiv Sena, who is the real or Nakli NCP. Most importantly, it will decide which party, BJP or Congress, has the bragging rights at the end of this big election year. Here is a report on why Maharashtra matters. It's final battle of 2024. Maharashtra, the second largest state and one of the richest in the country, votes on November 20th. It's a state where no party is in absolute control, where the BJP needs allies as much as the Congress. A state where opposition's India bloc worked the best on the ground. And the battles within the battle makes it a thriller. The result will decide once and for all which is the real Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thakre's or Eknath Shinde's. दो साल से हम देख रहे हैं महाराष्ट्र की लूट हो रही है बेरोजगार युवा हर जगह घूम रहे हैं युवा युवती है हर जगह घूम रहे हैं लेकिन सारे जो उद्योग है सारे जो रोजगार की संधि है वो गुजरात जा रही थी अगला जो विधानसभा जो चुनाव होने जा रहा है वो चुनाव दिखा देगा कि ये महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र से ही चलेगा और महाराष्ट्र की आवाज ही सुनेगा द बैटल ऑफ पवार्स अपियर टू हैव बीन सेटल्ड इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लोकसभा पोल्स विद शरद पवार फैक्शन विनिंग एट ऑफ द टेन सीट दे कंटेस्टेड Deputy CM Ajit Pawar gets second chance at redemption. The Congress had emerged the largest party in Maharashtra, winning 13 Lok Sabha seats, while the BJP won nine. The Lok Sabha results, when converted to assembly segments, gives the Mahavikas Aghadi an edge. They led in 153 seats, above the halfway mark of 145. The Mahayuti, led by the BJP, led in 126 seats. The poor people, 
किसी भी समाज में रहो उनका सब प्रावधान हमने किया है तो आप ये बताओ कि भाई आपने ये योजना घोषित की और उसके लिए आपके पास पैसे नहीं है ये विपक्ष बताना चाहिए खाली हवा में बातें करके ये नहीं चलेगा प्रत्यक्ष में लाभ लोगों को मिल रहा है गरीब जनता को मिल रहा है गरीब जनता के हित की योजना सरकार ने यहाँ पर रखी है तो मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि इसके बाद तो भी जनता ही तय करेगी हमारी लड़ाई महाराष्ट्र के स्वाभिमान को बचाने की है महाराष्ट्र का स्वाभिमान गुजरात के चरणों में अर्पण किया है ये सरकार ने महाराष्ट्र के सरकार गुजरात के इशारों पर राज करती है आचार संहिता के इंतजार जनता कर रही है ये महायुति सरकार को सत्ता से हटाने का निर्णय लोगों ने लिया है द बीजेपी फ्रेश फ्रॉम हरियाणा बूस्टर आफ्टर फॉलिंग टू टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी इन द लोकसभा पोल्स वुड लुक टू विन द स्टेट एंड स्टैम्प इट्स अथॉरिटी इन डेली द कांग्रेस ऑन द अदर हैंड इज डेस्परेटली इन नीड ऑफ अ बूस्टर शॉट आफ्टर द स्टैंडिंग डिफीट इट सफर्ड इन हरियाणा The importance of the election can be measured by the way the Eknath Shinde government opened purse strings, announcing a host of welfare measures that will cost the treasury nearly one lakh crore rupees. Will it be enough? The voter will decide next month. Bureau report, India Today. and this mega battle is a battle or maha battle is a battle within a battle in mumbai it will be a battle for who is the legacy of bal thakre the shiv sena leader who is the true shiv sena eknath shinde or uddhav thakre this weekend i was in mumbai during the dashera rallies of the two senas and i interviewed the two young turks of sena politics aditya thakre and shrikant shinde along with my colleague साहिल जोशी लिसन इन agree this vidhan sabha is do or die for the thakres look we faced what we have faced in the past 2 years you've seen uh, the absolute lowest kind of politics in the past 2 years but in terms of do or die or existentialism i think it's more for a state than anyone else today the biggest issue in our state is the absolute brazen corruption that's going on the way the state is going we never had so many divisions we never had so much polarization we've never had so much exodus of um, industries from our state jobs has become a major issue i think for us it's the direction that will be set for the state more than anything else but even we say that it's a private limited it's it's thakre private limited and that's why their party is public limited it's shiv sena limited company shiv sena limited yes company. but the biggest Yours ownership the, the ownership of their party or whatever that little gut is yeah. is 50% adani and 50% bjp they are the owners of his gang so it's not the shiv sena excuse not at all anyone who is scared for his own life for his cases or ed it cbi has run away to surat gujarat and uh, you know surat and guwahati cannot be a shiv senic we call them darpoks no, the no. cowards you know adani darpok gaddar you know the words that are being used uh, you know mumbai ko bech rahe hain you've been very tough on dharavi i just wonder you know will the audience say yaar will Aditya Thakre or the Shiv Sena UBD tell us what will we do if we come no, to power? Is it all about Rajiv? Let's Rajiv, attack. I'll tell you what. Shindu. I'll tell you what. This is the difference which you will see in both the rallies. For us, what we are speaking is passionately. Uh, we're speaking with a sense of conviction and from our heart. Uh, we could have gone like those guys went. We didn't. We're speaking for our principles. We're speaking for our state, for our city, for our people. For his script, if you see, which comes from wherever it comes. It's been two years now. He's only justifying why he ran away to Gujarat. No, but you are also constantly calling them gaddar. You are saying. But that they are. Uh, Pannas khoke ek the ek the mukhe. That they have indulged. Suggesting that you know they've taken money to uh, switch sides. You are attacking Adani in every rally. Uh, you are raising the issue of Dharavi, claiming on the basis of Dharavi's reconstruction, Mumbai will be sold. They will. Uh, they are. Or they are arguing that even Aditya and Uddhav Thakre are also still. 
unwilling to come to terms with the fact that they've lost their government, so they keep attacking us with the same issues. Absolutely. I mean, I'm unwilling to come to terms with the fact that in the past two years, despite having a BJP government at the center and BJP being a part of this government, you see an absolute collapse of law and order in our state today. You see an absolute collapse of administrative systems in our state today. Uh, you see an absolute collapse of the confidence to fight elections in the ruling regime in our state today. Um, look at the amount of industries that, is, that has gone away. If you remember, when I first broke the news of Vedanta Foxconn going away to Gujarat, uh, and there was a lot of hue and cry You're and all... You're talking in our terms, broke the news. I broke the news, yeah. Okay. What did the illegal chief minister come and say on TV? That Modi ji has promised him an even bigger industry than Vedanta Foxconn coming to Maharashtra. It's been two years. Has it come? No. In, in fact, we lost after that Airbus Tata to Gujarat. Uh, we've lost Vedanta Foxconn. Uh, we've lost Medical Device Park, Bulk Drugs Park. So many things that we've lost to Gujarat. And again, the fight is not at all with Gujarat. I believe it's the BJP that's creating Gujarat versus the rest of India as a battle because this is the same sentiment which I found in UP, the same sentiment which I found in Jharkhand of why locals there are not getting the contracts, why locals there are not getting job opportunities. When I hear you all speak, I sense a lot of bitterness. Uh, I, am, I am bitter if anyone takes away the right of jobs from my state. I am bitter if someone loses, uh, loots my state. I am bitter if someone is corrupt and is absolutely milking the treasury of my state. Are you trying to create a new Maharashtra identity? No, or I, I'll tell you what. Yes, at the core of our ideals is Hindutva, which is our Hindutva, not the BJP's Hindutva. Now, what is your Hindutva my different Hindutva's, from there? My Hindutva is very clear. If you ask me today, and let me ask you this question before I move on to my definition of Hindutva. For the past two months, we have been seeing, hearing uh, on the social media ecosystem and a lot of media ecosystem that Hindus in Bangladesh have been facing atrocities and have been facing attacks. Mm. Largely, this ecosystem who is propagating this is the BJP. Mm. Now tell me something. This is what I asked the MEA to clarify. Are Hindus in Bangladesh being attacked or not? There have been several cases. And if they are, why are we playing cricket with Bangladesh when it's not even an ICC tournament? And if it is not true, then why is the BJP ecosystem propagating that? On one hand, the BJP ecosystem wants to beat up Muslims in my country, fellow countrymen, fellow Indian citizens. Why? Because there are atrocities being committed on Hindus in Bangladesh. But the same BJP, because of Putra Prem, cannot say anything. This is the Hindutva. This is the fake Hindutva, which we are against. Our Hindutva is Ridayat Ramani Hatala Kam. Our Hindutva doesn't tell you what to eat and how to dress. Our Hindutva will protect our religion when we have to. But today, if you see what these guys are doing, is, yes, our Hindutva, we've gone to Ayodhya twice or thrice, more than uh, probably Prime Minister Modi, we've gone to Ayodhya before my father became Chief Minister and twice after my father became Chief Minister with a couple of Congress and NCP MLAs also. But we did not want to inaugurate the Ram Temple, which is half ready, only because of elections. Their argument is so, that we, see, are, doing, you, we are doing projects which will benefit so, the state and Aditya Thakre is blocking the projects. I have already invited the illegal chief minister, the clip that went viral, mm. on the India Today Conclave stage, mm. to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with me. On all these issues? Uh, yeah. On Adani, on Dharavi? No, chalo, let's start from why he had to run away. To every, to every issue. He says CM is common man. CM is not chief minister, it's common man. How do you see that? I think everyone in Maharashtra knows that this CM is contractor mantri. He's contractor mantri. So according to you, it's contractor mantri. According to Maharashtra, it's contractor mantri. Is Aditya Thakre and fighting a losing battle? Will the sun set on the Shiv Sena if you lose this election? This is not about us. Yes, this is... Obviously, there is a sense of betrayal and there's a sense of... Can you even be human if the way you backstabbed my father in his lowest times, toughest times after two surgeries and everyone knows what happened, right? But this is about where my state moves tomorrow. This is about where Maharashtra moves tomorrow. The state that was known for its law and order, the state that was known for its administration, that was the state that was known for its agriculture and industry both together. The state that was known to be a prosperous open society today is being trying to go or rather be forced into a BJP ideology. Every common uh, thought today is the MBS forming government, irrespective of who wins how many seats. Having said that, and God forbid, even if I lose, I will not stop fighting for Maharashtra and Mumbai and the way it's being sold to a few industrialists and to the contractor friends of Eknath Shinde. Oh, with one caveat, when you say that, and you've said it through this interview, there'll be those listening who'll say, 
यार यू वर पार्ट एकनाथ शिंदे वाज पार्ट ऑफ यू टिल टू एंड अ हाफ इयर्स अगो द सेम एकनाथ शिंदे यू आर सेइंग इज सेलिंग व्हिच इज व्हाई ही टू रन अवे बिकॉज़ यू डू वर इन गवर्नमेंट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द लास्ट डेकेड आर यू सडनली टेलिंग मी दैट ओ इट इज ओनली इन 2022 जून नो दैट मुंबई महाराष्ट्र वाज सो देयर आर दोस वाज सेइंग that who fought sending some all fought, made a lot of money fought, the bmc even no, no, when no, no, you were no, no. in power there was corruption what, let's let's have another one hour of this discussion but who fought for ra in 2016 even when we were in government but yet didn't backstab the chief minister our fights are out in the open were there not was there not corruption in the bmc when you were I'll in power i'll tell power? you what if at all there was corruption we have said this openly whoever was corrupt pick them up and put them in jail rather than take them into bjp have you closed the cases run those public cases run it in public भर चौकात तुम्ही हिअरिंग घ्या भर चौकात भर भर चौक शिवसेनिक अंडर द ठाकरे कमिटेड करप्शन हैव वी पुट एनीवन इन द वॉशिंग मशीन हैव वी शील्डेड एनीवन दैट्स द डिफरेंस यू आर सेइंग दैट्स द डिफरेंस एंड टुडे आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस द रीजन व्हाई आई एम फाइटिंग फॉर माय स्टेट एंड फॉर माय सिटी एंड व्हेन आई से मी इट्स ऑल ऑफ अस इज बिकॉज़ आई लुक एट मुंबई बीइंग लूटेड आई लुक एट पुणे बीइंग लूटेड आई लुक एट नागपुर नाशिक बीइंग लूटेड बट इवन मुंबई टुडे द वे इट्स बीइंग गिवन टू अदानी अगेन लेट मी मेक दिस वेरी क्लियर लाइक आई मेड इट ऑन द इंडिया टुडे कॉन्क्लेव the fight is not personal with mr adani we are not against him or any other businessman growing and becoming the richest in the world we are happy that an indian will become however if you want my city's plots if you want my city's lands if you want my city's salt pans for free without my city getting its due that will not happen if you want to go above and beyond a tender like dharavi and illegally do something in my state and you want to make my state your gulam that will not happen न्यू न्यू लाइन ऑफ शिंदेज हल्के में मत लो किसको बोला हल्के में मत लो मुझे लगता है जिसको बोला ना किस किसको बोला उसको पहुंच गया वो मैं ऑप्शन दूंगा क्योंकि मैंने पूछा है किसको बोला नहीं किस किसको बोला ओके दैट इज द क्वेश्चन किस किसको बोला जर्नलिस्ट को बोला एनालिस्ट को बोला शिवसेना यूबीटी को बोला बीजेपी को बोला कांग्रेस को बोला किस किस को बोला नहीं मुझे लगता है कि हर आपने अभी अलग अलग लोगों का नाम लिया तो हल्के में मतलब मतलब लाइटली मतलब मतलब जिस तरीके से मैं काम कर रहा हूँ तो सीरियसली लो मुझे जिस तरीके से नहीं नहीं सीरियसली लो मतलब लोगों को लगा राजदीप लोकसभा में यार ये क्या ये पार्टी कितना दिन चलेगी कितने एमपीस आएंगे हाँ कितना दिन सरकार चलेगा दस दिन चलेगा किसने बोला किसने बोला दो महीना चलेगा किसने बोला छह महीना चलेगा और अभी जो है सरकार पूरे जोरों शोरों से दो साल पूरा टेन्योर जो है दो साल का ये पूरा टेन्योर कंप्लीट करके वी आर गोइंग फॉर इलेक्शंस दैट्स इंटरेस्टिंग तो जिस जिसने हल्के में लिया उनकी क्या परिस्थिति हो गई वो लोकसभा इलेक्शन में आपने देख लिया तो उनको जो है मुझे लगता है कि हर शिवसैनिक हो कार्यकर्ता हो कोई भी हो वर्कर हो किसी को भी हल्के में लेना नहीं चाहिए हर जो कार्यकर्ता है शिव है उसके बलबूते पे जो है पार्टी खड़ी रहती है तो ऐसे लोगों के पीछे हमेशा एक लीडर बनकर खड़े रहने का काम बाला साहब करते थे तो अभी समझ लेना चाहिए समझदार को इशारा काफी है जब भी मैं पूछता था एकनाथ शिंदे और शिवसेना के बारे में वो कहते थे गद्दार एक वर्ड उनमें था जो यूबीटी सेना के जो वर्कर्स हैं जो सपोर्टर्स हैं ये क्या एक तरह से अभी भी वो वर्ड इस्तेमाल जो होता है गद्दार किस तरह से आप देखो मुझे लगता है की इसका जवाब जो है आपको लोकसभा में मिल गया और जो हमेशा गद्दार खोखे खंजी इसके आगे उनके डिक्शनरी में कोई वर्ड्स नहीं है और मुझे लगता है कि लोकसभा में जो रिजल्ट्स आए आपको, आपको भी लगता था सात सीटें मिले हम लोग सामने सामने जो है तेरह सीट लड़े तेरह में से सात सीट जो है शिवसेना जीती और छह सीट जो है यूबीटी जीती स्ट्राइक रेट जो है हमारे पार्टी का मतलब शिवसेना बाला साहब की शिवसेना का सबसे ज्यादा रहा दो लाख वोट जो है हमें ज्यादा मिले तो मुझे लगता है कि लोगों ने जो है फैसला कर दिया है और इनको जो वोट मिले उनको वोट जो है एक विशिष्ट वोट बैंक के मिले नहीं, नहीं, जो नहीं, नहीं, हमेशा नहीं। जो हमेशा कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक रही है आज कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक उनके पास शिफ्ट हो गई 
तो ना आप कह रहे हैं मुस्लिम वोट बैंक सीधा सीधा नहीं, नहीं, नहीं मैं कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक नहीं नहीं एक मिनट मुस्लिम वोट बैंक कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक शिवसेना यूबीटी को मिली इसलिए आप कह रहे हैं उनको कुछ सीटें आई ये आपका कहना है ना तो असली तो असली शिवसैनिक जो है आपके साथ है मेरा कहना है की कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक जो है पूरी तरीके से यूबीटी के पास गई और यूबीटी की वोट बैंक और यूबीटी की वोट बैंक नहीं शिवसेना की वोट बैंक जो शिवसेना मराठी मानुष जो है हमारे साथ खड़ा हुआ इसलिए आप देखो कि अगर रिजल्ट्स मुंबई में देखो बाहर देखो कि जहां जहां पर शिवसेना का ओरिजिनल वोट बैंक था मराठी मानुष था वो हमारे साथ जो है खड़ा हुआ और लोगों ने हमें जितवाया वो लोकसभा में वाले आने वाले तो, अभी तो विधानसभा है ना तो लोकसभा का ही बात करेंगे ना गेज तो करना पड़ेगा ना आपको नहीं अब तो विधानसभा आते ना मराठी मानुष किसके साथ है मराठी मानुष बोलो अभी मराठी मानुष के नाम पर इतने सालों तक राजनीति की क्या दिया मराठी मानुष को क्या दिया मुंबई कर जो लोग हजार मतलब कितने हजारों लोग लाखों लोग साहिल यू ऑल्सो नो इट कि लोग अपने घर से बेघर है एस आर में अटके महाड़ा में अटके अलग अलग डेवलपर्स के चुंगल में अटके रीडेवलपमेंट स्कीम जो अटक गई स्कीम जो अटक गई है इनके घर के बाजू में जो है एक शिवालिक बिल्डर्स है वहां पर लोग चौदह साल से ट्रांसिट में रहते ट्रांसिट में रहते हैं उनको कभी न्याय तो दिया नहीं तो ये मराठी आदमी जो है मराठी मानुष जो है आज मुंबई के बाहर जो है चला गया है डोम्बिली में गया है उल्लासनगर में गया आपके कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में गया मेरे कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में क्योंकि इनको लोगों को घर यहाँ पर नहीं मिल रहा है थाने कल्याण आउटसाइड लोगों को लोगों को घर नहीं मिल रहा है यहाँ पर रीडेवलपमेंट में सभी प्रोजेक्ट अटके थे उनको न्याय देने का काम हमने किया बट अभी रमाबाई नगर आप एग्जाम्पल लीजिए नौ लोगों को आज हमारी सरकार जो है यहाँ पर घर देने का काम कर रही है शुरू भी कर दिया एस आर ए और एम एम आर डी साथ में आई और 9000 लोगों की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सरकार ने ली तो ये मराठी आदमी को जो जो चाहिए था जो जो जरूरत था वो जरूरत इन्होंने नहीं फुल नहीं, पूरा किया खाली पॉलिटिक्स अभी, के लिए यूज किया इन्होंने अभी, अभी भी अभी भी महाविकास आघाड़ी का पिच आपके खिलाफ आपके सरकार के खिलाफ ये है कि महाराष्ट्र का प्राइड कम किया जा रहा है महाराष्ट्र की अस्मिता को खत्म किया जा रहा है गुजरात को आगे बढ़ाया जा रहा है गुजरात में हमेशा ये फेक नरेटिव फेक नरेटिव फेक नरेटिव तो फेक नरेटिव जो है इनका लोकसभा में तो हमारे विरोध में चलना चाहिए था विरोध में चला क्या हमारा ये तो यूबीटी को सबसे ज्यादा वोट मिलना चाहिए था उनको सिंपति अगर रहता या फेक नरेटिव चलता तो बट बीजेपी के खिलाफ चला बीजेपी का सीट कम हो गया बीजेपी के खिलाफ चला मतलब सबके आज एनडीए के खिलाफ चला इनका फेक नरेटिव की इन्होंने अलग अलग विषय निकाले इन्होंने निकाले कि आरक्षण खतरे में है संविधान को इन लोग बदले तो ये सब आपके तो खिलाफ क्यों नहीं चल पाया आप कह रहे हैं कि आपका स्ट्राइक रेट उनसे भी ज्यादा क्यों अच्छा रहा ऐसा क्यों लगता है मुझे लगता है कि ये पूरा फेक नरेटिव जो है बताया मैंने आपको अभी मैंने आपको बोला की फेक नरेटिव जो है मुस्लिम उनको गलत फहमी उनमें पैदा की गई बाद में एस सी वोटर्स है दलित वोटर्स है उनके अंदर जो है गलत फहमी पैदा की गई कि बाबा सब इनके 400 पार हो जाएंगे तो ये संविधान को बदल देंगे आरक्षण को जो है बदल देंगे लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि लोग हर बार जो है फेक नरेटिव्स के शिकार नहीं होते हरियाणा के उदाहरण ने आपको दिखा दिया आप उनको भ्रष्टाचारी कहते हैं वो, वो आप आपको भ्रष्टाचार और पब्लिक जो है मराठी मानुष देख रहा है कि दो शिवसेना एक दूसरे को भ्रष्टाचारी कह रहे हैं अभी गए दो साल में एक भी चार्ज हमारे एक सरकार के खिलाफ आप बताइए कि एक भी चार्ज जो है प्रूव आए इनके सरकार में आपको बताऊंगा इनके टाइम में इनके जो गृह मंत्री थे जेल में चले गए क्यों वसूली में इनके जो पुलिस है वो एक के जो है उद्योगपति के घर के नीचे बम लगाया इन्होंने वो जेल में है एक जन का उसके अंदर खून हो गया उसके चार्जेस में जेल में है एक जन जो है खिचड़ी के चार्ज में जेल में है और एक जन जो है पतरा चाल के कांड में जेल में जाके अभी बाहर है बेल पे तो ये जो है ना और करप्शन कितना करप्शन करने का बॉडी बैग एक सीधा उदाहरण देता हूं मैं आपको हमारे यहाँ पे जो बॉडी बैग मिलती थी छह रुपए में वो मुंबई में छह हजार रुपए में इन्होंने खरीदी मतलब जब लोगों को सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत थी सरकार की कोविड के टाइम इन्होंने घर में बैठ के पूरा भ्रष्टाचार किया सो यू वांट टू सेंड टू जेल यू वांट टू सेंड वांट टू सेंड एनी वन टू जेल आई एम नो वन टू सेंड एनी वन टू जेल इट इज कोर्ट टू डिसाइड इट इज पुलिस टू डिसाइड इन्वेस्टिगेशन विल हैपन एवरीथिंग विल हैपन आई एम जस्ट स्टेटिंग द फैक्ट एंड द प्रूफ आपने जो अभी निकाला कि करप्शन के चार्जेस तो मुझे लगता है ये सब जो है सर गए ढाई साल में लोगों ने देखा है और चार्जेस प्रूव है ओके लेट्स मूव फ्रॉम सेना वर्सेस सेना ठाकरे वर्सेस शिंदे टू दिग बैटल दिस बिग 
war in Maharashtra, which is Congress versus BJP. Now, interestingly, in the Lok Sabha elections, the Congress emerged as party number one in Maharashtra, winning 13 of the 17 seats that they contested with the best strike rate out of any of the parties. Their main wins were in Maratwada, Vidarbha against the BJP. But after the defeat of the Congress in Haryana, can the party now make a comeback in Maharashtra against the BJP in direct fights? And joining me now is Prithviraj Savan, the former Congress Chief Minister of Maharashtra. It's last Congress Chief Minister. Appreciate your joining us, uh, Mr. Savan. Uh, my first question to you, would it be right to say this is a do or die battle for the Congress in particular, given what happened in Haryana, if you can't win Maharashtra as an India alliance, then it's Mr. Modi, who's once again resurgent and the Congress on the back foot. Am I right? Well, Rajdeep, every election is very important. It's always a do or die election for the local party, be it BJP in Maharashtra or the Mahavikas Aghadi in our state. It's always an important election, so is this election important? But only thing is, we are entering into the Vidhan Sabha election on the back of a very successful Lok Sabha campaign. We won 65% of the seats uh, as Mahavikas Aghadi. And uh, while we are not complacent, uh, we are not uh, um, resting on our laurels, I think it will be a tough fight because it's also a do or die election for the BJP and its allies. So. Uh, what has happened in the state, mm -hmm. the state is virtually bankrupt today with all sort of SOPs and all sort of freebies being uh, given and offered with, uh, with the state exchequer empty. The, the state has a loan of more than 10 lakh crore rupees. The are drying up, no new industry is coming up. Uh, it's a pretty, very precarious situation. Highest number of farm suicides in Maharashtra because of the wrong policies of the Modi government. I think the people are just waiting for the election day, which was announced today, to just throw this government out of power. You know, you're saying that, that the people are waiting for uh, to throw this government out of power. I heard the same thing in Haryana just a few weeks ago, and you saw what happened. And even there in the Lok Sabha, it was neck and neck. But when it came to the Vidhan Sabha, the BJP edged ahead. Would you concede that the BJP and indeed the Mahayuti in power is better prepared? for this election compared to MBA. You all still haven't worked on seat sharing. There's still no clarity on leadership. The MBA, uh, the Mahayuti on the other hand, you call them SOPs, but they seem better prepared. No, I think it's a matter of comparison. You cannot compare Haryana with Maharashtra. Haryana, uh, the Lok Sabha results was 50-50%. Uh, In Maharashtra, we had a much better Lok Sabha result. Uh, the vote percentage in, in Haryana was pretty close. Uh, we had about a two percentage point clear lead in Lok Sabha, and I think that uh, will be even uh, wider this time because the farm situation is becoming more and more precarious. Uh, take Soebin, for example. The MSP is 4,900, and people are getting 4,000 rupees. I remember Mr. Devendra Fadnis taking out morchas against my government in 2013, demanding a minimum price of 6,000 rupees for soybean. Today, soybean is being sold for 4,000 rupees. What have farmers done? Highest number of suicides of any other state in the country happening in Maharashtra. No industrialization here. All the industry hijacked to Gujarat. People, educated people, Lacks and lacks of unemployment, unemployed educated people are roaming the streets, delivering pizzas. They're not getting married. It's a very grave social crisis. People don't you're, seem to realize. You're, you're, That's you're why saying, you're saying, anger against the Shinde government. No, you're saying there's anger against the Shinde government. The Shinde government tells me that many of their schemes, particularly the Ladki Bahin scheme, which gives 1,500 rupees to women below the poverty line per family, is, is having an impact. More than two crore women, they say, have benefited. These are the kind of schemes that will benefit them. The BJP tells me infrastructure in urban areas like Mumbai will benefit them. So they believe that people want continuity. You're talking of change. 
Do you have a do you have an answer? You're in charge of the manifesto. Do you have an answer to Ladli Bahin or indeed the various schemes that are being brought in? Rahul Gandhi spoke of khata yes. khat politics during the Lok Sabha. Well, now Shinde is talking of his khata khat politics. Well, le, le, well, let us take one thing at a time. You talked about Ladli Bahin Yojana. Let's not forget that it was in the Karnataka manifesto of the Congress Party that we promised. 2,000 rupees to women under Mahalakshmi scheme. We won that state, we gave 2,000 rupees. We promised 2,000 rupees to women in Telangana manifesto. We won the election and we gave 2,000 rupees to women. It is our scheme. You look at our Lok Sabha manifesto. We talk about empowering women to direct payments. So even if this government had not given 1,500 rupees, we would have done it anyway. So. I mean, even in Madhya Pradesh, no, so are you saying you will, no, are you saying you will give 2,000 rupees? To implement, but no, are you saying you will give 2,000 rupees to women if you come to well, par? Uh, we will continue the scheme. We will continue the scheme. We have welcomed the scheme. But it will not like a ladli bahan and bichari bahana, the elder brother giving, uh, taking pity and giving her 2,000 rupees. We want to frame it as a right right for the unpaid work that a woman does in house looking after children cooking for the family mm -hmm. sewing and cleaning all this is completely unpaid work in international economics uh, people are now arguing for gdp of the country to be uh, calculated in such a way that this unpaid work of women is computed in the gdp calculation uh, uh, so we want to create a right of the woman okay not as a merbani and i think we'll give the amount will be fixed amount will be decided when what the manifesto gets finalized, but we have welcomed the scheme. I think what we according will continue to you it. then? Okay, you're saying you're welcoming the scheme, you'll continue with it. What, according to you, then is the X factor in this election? Because the BJP seems to be cost correcting after Lok Sabha, they've been reaching out to OBCs. They are hoping uh, that in urban areas, some of their uh, projects will have an impact on voters. What, according to you, is the X factor that will decide the Maharashtra elections? Yeah, Rajiv, uh, there are six major divisions in Maharashtra. Two in Vidarbha, one in Marathwada. Vidarbha, there is such a grave agriculture crisis, the farm suicide and all that thing. There is a wave in favor of MVA, particularly in favor of the Congress party. In Marathwada, the Dalit Muslim and the Maratha consolidation will, uh, will let, uh, allow us to sweep Marathwada completely. That's what happened in Lok Sabha election, except for one seat. All other seats were won by the MVA. Yes. In other three regions, the North Maharashtra, Western Maharashtra and Mumbai, there'll be a three-way fight, two-way fight, three-way fight. But I think nobody will have a great edge anywhere else. But our edge will be in the Vidabha region, where there are 62 assembly seats, and in the Maratwala region. You know, but there's a feeling that you mentioned two-way, three-way fight. Many believe there'll be five-way, six-way fights. And part of your challenge is managing independence, managing rebels. But, you couldn't do it in Haryana. Maharashtra is going to be about poll management, seat sharing. You haven't even got to seat sharing. Who will get how many well, seats? Well, Isn't that going to be the big challenge now? No. Yes, seat sharing is not being completed by Mahayuti also, by BJP also, and we also got some seats left. My understanding is that almost 80 to 85 percent of the work has been done. The last mile of 15 percent seats are left. Tomorrow there is a screening committee of Congress party in Delhi. Next day will there'll be a CEC election committee meeting in the. Part of the seats will be announced, I think, in the next couple of days. Okay. Uh, election dates have been announced. I think seat sharing will be fine as long as, uh, as, as soon as seat sharing happens, our candidates are ready. So each Can party I? will nominate their candidates and get into the uh, actual campaign mode. Can I therefore ask you a final question? Will you project a face? Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena, very clear that you should project a face. Is the Congress willing to have a rethink on that issue? Go into Maharashtra elections under Uddhav Thakre or any one leader? Well, I think projecting a face before the election, different people can have different views. Congress party has never projected a face when we are fighting in, in the opposition. Let me repeat that. Uh, the practice has been after the election, the largest party gets to nominate the chief minister. It happened in 99, mm -hmm. 2000. 2004, 2009, 14, 
Even in 19, we for the first time we formed a three-party alliance with Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena and NCP of Sharad Pawar. What did you do? We chose the CM from the largest party, which happened to be this, uh, the Shiv Sena. Nobody even murmured. Shiv Sena had 56 MLAs, NCP had 54, just too short. But they didn't uh, raise okay, a so voice. You're saying the largest party got to name the chief minister, uh, so which was Uddhav Thakre. So I think why should it be different this time? Okay, my final question is where I started off. You said, uh, no, it's not a do or die battle for us. It's another election. But the fact is, it is an election in India's commercial capital, Mumbai. It's an election in India's second largest seat when it comes to Lok Sabha. It's an election which will tell us whether Rahul Gandhi still is able to take on the BJP in direct contests in places like Vidarbha. For all those reasons and possibly a few more, including momentum perception, will you agree that this election is where the Congress will have to put all its eggs now and not repeat the mistakes of Haryana? No, I don't know what happened in Haryana. So I think Congress will fight uh, uh, together with our alliance partners, will fight uh, you know, very aggressively because uh, we are representing people's issues. Uh, there are severe crises in so many fields, the cost of living crisis, the unemployment crisis, the agriculture crisis, and people still have not uh, gotten over the Samvidhan Bachao matter. Right. Uh, BJP wants us to believe that the Samvidhan is a national issue. It was an issue for parliament and not for a civil election. No, sir, that's not true. The Samvidhan is a problem of vichar dhara. BJP has never accepted Ambedkar's constitution. They always believed in the manusmriti that they had. They want to go back to the Varna Vyavastha. Uh, even in uh, 1947, when the constitution was being drafted, right. when the constitute, assembly was being con co constituted, the RSS said that we don't need it. We already have a constitution. We have already had a penal code. So I think, what are we talking? It is their mindset which you are fighting. It is a mindset with the Dalits, the Muslims, the poor people of this uh, the Maharashtra state will fight. And ultimately, corruption. Corruption is, a, is the X factor, as you called it. I mean, what happens in the constituency that people have crossed parties uh, for a consideration of 50 crore rupees? People have voted them, uh, given them confidence, uh, and that confidence was auctioned, okay. was sold to the highest bidder, 50 crore rupees. Do you think these people, when they go back to the voters, voters are not going to ask them this question? Well, we wait corruption and see. is going to be the main. Uh, you're you're saying corruption issue. will be a major election we'll issue. We'll wait and see. Okay, we'll wait and see whether the voters are influenced by what you claim are corrupt practices in a state like Maharashtra, or is it a case as you and other uh, congressmen, Pannas Khoke? Ekdam okay. We'll wait and see how Maharashtra plays out in the end. But Prithviraj Savan, tough month ahead. All eyes will be on Mumbai. Thank you very much for joining me here on the news today. Yes, thank you. Okay, we've heard the Congress perspective with Prithviraj Savan. Now let's turn to the ruling Mahayuti, led by the Shinde Sena. And uh, I'm joined by its Rajya Sabha MP, Milin Deura now joins me. Appreciate your joining us, Mr. Deura. Prithviraj Savan says, Vidhan Sabha will be a repeat of Lok Sabha in Maharashtra, advantage to the opposition. What do you believe has changed between June, when you lost in Maharashtra, and now in October, November? Well, Mr. Chavan is a friend of mine. He's free to make these predictions. I am not one who makes such predictions. I, 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 neither am I overconfident, but I'm confident, Rajdeep, that this alliance led by the chief minister, who in my opinion is an X factor in this election, will come back to power for a third consecutive term, will get a hat trick just like the, Maha, the NDA did in Haryana, despite all predictions. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I say that is number one, because of the chief minister's popularity. I say this because I'm confident that he is wildly popular across the state. Secondly, because of the development and the work that has happened in Maharashtra in the last two years, whether you live in Mumbai, whether you live in a rural part of the state, nobody can ignore that there has been a transformation in the city, in the state, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of investments, in terms of um, bringing business back to the state, in terms of creating jobs, 
But, um, but all these been... factors, Mr. Deora, all these factors were there in the Lok Sabha and you still lost. What has changed? You're saying the chief yes, minister is an X factor. You. The fact I'll is, the real battle in, in the Lok Sabha was Congress versus BJP in Vidarbha and Maratwada and Western Maharashtra. And that's where Sharad Pawar and the Congress scored over their rivals. Please see what happened in Haryana during the Lok Sabha elections and what happened in Haryana during the Vidhan Sabha elections. The fact remains that there was a fake narrative being spread by the opposition during the Lok Sabha election, that if Narendra Modi ji becomes Prime Minister of India again, the constitution will be changed arbitrarily, reservations for uh, backward and uh, uh, lower castes will be abolished. This myth and this misconception was debunked and busted during the Haryana elections. And that's why the NDA came back to power in Haryana and uh, got a hat-trick, which is unprecedented, as you know, and historic in Haryana. The same way, there was a fake narrative being spread among certain communities in Maharashtra. That fake narrative is has slowly but steadily in the last few months been busted by different leaders of the Mahayuti. So that's one aspect that I'm confident of. Number two, mm -hmm. the, the developmental work that happened before the Lok Sabha, certainly there was a lot of work that happened before the Lok Sabha elections, but people also beginning to see a certain development come into play wherein it's being not just a bhumi pujan, but actual launches of projects happening. In Mumbai, for instance, look at the coastal road, look at the Atal Setu, look at the Navi Mumbai airport. There are these infrastructure projects which may yeah. have been mm -hmm. a promise to people in the Lok Sabha elections, but today people are seeing that lead to fruition. No, but the fact, so Mr. I... Deora, if you're saying this election is about development, why does your government, as it has done in the last one month or two months, need these series of SOPs? You've done more than a thousand GRs alone in the last one uh, uh, couple of weeks. Suddenly, on the eve of the election announcement, toll tax was waived for vehicles coming into uh, Mumbai. There was a sense of desperation. Even the Larki Bahin scheme of 1500 rupees, according to Mr. Tsavan, is a copy of the Congress scheme, where they gave 2000 rupees to women. Then the Prime Minister called it Ravdi. What do we call what you do? Isn't it ravedy when you wave off toll tax one day, when you give 1,500 rupees to women the next, when you promise even salaries increases to madrasa teachers? Isn't all of this ravedy? Well, it's amusing because when, uh, if the Congress wants to take credit for the scheme, then why are they opposing it, number one? No, he said they'll um, continue it. Well, different Congress leaders have said they'll discontinue it. So there seems to be a difference of opinion among Congress leaders themselves about mm -hmm. whether to continue it or not continue it. So look, there is a fundamental, and I say this as a fiscal conservative myself, there is a fundamental difference between a revedi, where you say I'm giving people free water, free electricity, which ultimately will come in the way government will have to bridge that gap by taxing people. There's a fundamental difference between those kinds of schemes and giving a stimulus to people who need it the most. And this is not something new that is unique to just the state of Maharashtra. Every political party across the spectrum has talked about some form of a stimulus, pack, stimulus package for people who need it the most, from the far left to the far right. Mm -hmm. The difference is some people get it done, some people only talk about it. As the chief minister said to you, Rajdeep Saddesai, on your uh, interview, mm -hmm. that there's a difference between khatakhat politics and fatafat politics. Talking about talk no, is no, cheap. Khat or fatafat, khatak, Mr. Deora, khatakhat or fatafat, Maharashtra is running a huge debt. It seems in the last few months... Some will say it's cost correction, others say it's desperation. There's a sense of desperation, paisa, feko, vote low. So Rajdeep, then this is very unfair. I don't hear you asking this question to other states and other parties and other governments when they have a stimulus package. Forget about asking those who have ravedy packages. I'm not even talking about a ravedy system. Mm -hmm. I'm saying giving stimulus packages, what is direct benefits transfer? Direct benefits transfer happened when I was a Lok Sabha MP back in the day. It's a way of giving money directly in the hands of people so that you eliminate wastage, you eliminate corruption. If that is a ravedy, mm -hmm. then I'm sorry, we need to have a debate again as to what is a ravedy and what is the stimulus package. Okay. The so other... there is a fundamental difference in the two schemes. Mm -hmm. There is, As I said, there's a fundamental difference in saying I'm going to make everything free for you mm -hmm. and saying that those who need it the most to bridge inflationary pressures, to reduce inflationary pressures, to provide some kind of a social security cushion, you use a direct benefits transfer, you use technology to reach those who it's intended to reach. Okay. I... Today, every 1500 rupees that reaches a woman, a poor, needy woman, underprivileged woman in the state of Maharashtra, rural or urban Maharashtra, is being directly transferred from the state exchequer to that woman. Okay. It's not going through any broker in the middle. It's not going through the collector. 
It's not going through a panchayat chief. It's not going through the municipality. Let's, you, you, it's you, going directly to them. It's eliminating okay. wastage. They you, get that money in their hands. They can decide what they want to do. Many of them have started you're, businesses of it. You're saying Many of them have boosted the rural economy. Okay. Because you're of saying it's eliminating wastage. It's a direct benefit transfer. No, what the is other it? Big, no, the other, what no, is just it? a minute. The other big question, and this question is, again, Mr. Sawan has raised, is corruption. He claims corruption is going to be a big issue. People will not accept those MLAs who, according to him, switch sides for 50 crores and more. Do you believe corruption is an issue? Your party was accused at the time of MLA switching sides uh, with the lure of money and power. Similar allegations have been made against Ajit Pawar as well. Do you believe it's an issue or do you believe that's ex again a fake narrative? No, I would like to ask Mr. Chavan. I think corruption should become an issue. I would like to ask you, Rajdeep Sardesai, to pull out Prithviraj Chavan's statements against Udhav Thakre's led municipality, Mumbai municipality, which they have controlled for 30 years. How many years? 30 years. You have reported on this, Rajdeep, in the past about how Shiv Sena was looting Mumbai municipality. I know you have reported on this in the past. Bring out that corruption also. No, but then, but what then, corruption but happened then to the municipality? Turn, you know, no, no, but then one they will turn around, minute, sir. Minute. They will turn around the and say, look at, look at the second. allegations you made against Ajit Pawar on corruption. Please, you know, please the fact is, no, no, just a minute. You're saying, no, let me, let pick me out Prithviraj Chavans about Shiv Sena's Uddhav Thakre's corruption in BMC. They will pick out statements about Ajit Pawar. My so you point to you, is it an issue? Bring, bring, out, bring out statements against Ajit Pawar. Attack him, go to court if you have any proof. But the fact remains that the Mumbai municipality is the richest civic body in this, in this country. Mm -hmm. Mumbai municipality's budget is more than certain state governments in our country. Mm -hmm. It was looted. There was a pothole problem. Today, you tell me this monsoon, we just finished the monsoon in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. The debate around potholes has significantly reduced in this monsoon. Why is that? Where otherwise it was a recurring theme, monsoon after monsoon. Every monsoon, we would have a debate on potholes. You would have debates on potholes. Today, you didn't have a debate this year on potholes. Why not? That means the number of potholes has reduced because oh. there was a nexus between the politicians, between the contractors, to simply say, sir, let's sir, repair sir, the roads. Potholes have been reduced, but the Shiv... contractor would do a sir, sir, job, sir. and you May would Mr. make Deora, money on the side. Mr. Deora, one potholes no, have been second. reduced, but Shiv Sena statue, uh, Shivaji statues collapse. Let me ask you in conclusion a simple point. You said at the outset that Mr. Shinde will be one of the X factors. Are you very clear that if you win this election, if your Mahayuti wins, Eknath Shinde will be the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra? Could it be the BJP if they get more seats? Or is that issue settled now? This is something we are going into the election with Mr. Shinde as the Chief Ministerial Candidate. It's but natural that if we come to power, he will be the Chief Ministerial Candidate. But this is not something which will be discussed on an India Today studio. Mm -hmm. Perhaps who the MVA Chief Minister will be will be discussed on an India Today studio. I can assure you, not the Mahayuti Chief Minister. When you talk of corruption, I'll tell you why Mr. Shinde is an X factor. Maharashtra two years ago was the second state in the country in terms of attracting FDI. Do you know one of the reasons for that? was the then chief minister was openly encouraging, endorsing, protecting rogue police officers who were going and planting bombs outside the homes of industrialists to extort money from them. There was a huge flight of capital, not just among large industrial houses, but even among small traders. Today, those people are re investing again in Maharashtra. Maharashtra has again reclaimed its position as the number one state in terms of attracting foreign direct investment. In fact, 52% of FDI that came to India in the last year has come to Maharashtra. So that's an example of how when you clean up the system, you attract money, you attract investments, you create jobs, okay. you bring factories to the state. That's an example of corruption which the opposition must ask. I have not unfortunately heard you having a debate when Sachin Vaze was being protected by the then CM as I, to why they were doing that. I have had debates on the uh, Sachin Vaze Antila case. I have, will have debates when... People say pannas khoke ekdam okay. My view is very clear. Those are the speculation and conjecture. Okay, is a different you're issue. saying it's speculation something and conjecture factual, versus a fact. Okay, something right? which is factual, where somebody, anyone, can make a political statement in a rally. That's very easy to do. Okay, Even I can hurl a political allegation. When a chief minister of a state is asked on the floor of the assembly, "What is this case?" and the chief minister says, "Please don't compare a rogue police officer who's extorting money from industrialists." to Osama bin Laden. I counter that. I say, yes, we should compare them to Osama bin Laden. They are terrorizing the state. 
and that's what leads to a flight of capital. Today, okay. when people are questioning law and order in this state, let me ask that counter question. There has not been a single terror attack in Mumbai in the last 10 years. What was the situation from 2004 to 2014? I've been an MP. I know how many times I had to petition the central government. Mr. Sehra, you, you were then a Congress MP at the time. Today, you're claiming that the law and order had collapsed. And issue. you know that another that former issue. Congress MLA has been shot dead only a couple of days ago. Either way, either way, Mr. Deora, this is going to be then. an election. I'm it again now. Okay. When you talk of law and order, this let is... me give you one startling statistic, which is a positive development. Yes. Let's end on a positive note. Today, Gad Chiroli in Maharashtra, was a Naxal hotbed. It was part of the Red Corridor, as you know. Gad Chiroli was known for Naxalism, for killing of paramilitary forces, for police officers. Today, Gad Chiroli, Naxalism has completely ended in Gad Chiroli. Gad okay. Chiroli has been cleaned up. It's becoming the steel hub of Maharashtra and India. Recently, a Bhumi Puja, a foundation link ceremony, was done for one of the largest steel companies, factories in the country, which will give 7,000 jobs to locals. I'm, Is that I'm, not an example of turning around law and order in the state? Okay. Please. I'm People gonna leave in Maharashtra and Mumbai feel safer. Women feel safer in Mumbai than they do in any part of the country. That's a reality. Mumbai police, they may have shortcomings, but they remain one of the most professional forces in this country. What has happened to Baba Siddiqui is extremely tragic. It's unfortunate. The Mumbai police will leave no stone unturned right. to find the culprits and to punish them. That is something okay. I can assure the people of Mumbai and Maharashtra through your channel. Okay. Let me leave it there, uh, Milind Deora. We'll wait and see how all these narratives, whether they are real or fake, play out in this big Maharashtra battle. But for joining me here on the news today, thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, that's all we have time for on our election special.